my two-part presentation regarding the first law of thermodynamics. Okay, so in this video, I'll be presenting the formulas to be used, analyze uh, which formula you will be using for certain problems. Okay, so what is first, what is the first law of thermodynamics? Okay, so the first law uh, simply states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only be transferred. Okay, so I repeat, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred. Okay, so example, you have a system. Okay, let's say this is your system. Okay, everything outside of the system is called the surroundings. Okay. Okay, now energy flows freely to the system. It's either intake or outtake. So, pwede siyang tumanggap ng energy or pwede siyang maglabas ng energy. Okay. So let's say may papasok ka na heat. So that's a form of energy. Now, mababago ngayon yung internal energy ng system. Okay. So there'll be changes in the internal energy of the system. So internal energy internal energy is represented by the capital letter U. Okay, so there's a change in internal energy of the system pag merong heat na pumasok or may heat na lalabas. Okay, now also if there's work done by the surroundings to the system is makakaroon din ng change sa internal energy. Okay, so those are the two ways that energy is transferred to the system. It's either heat uh, is absorbed or is given by the system or work is uh, given by the surroundings or is given by the system. So ito yung dalawa. Okay, now let's say the surroundings gave, let's say, 300 joules okay, of work dito sa system natin. So, ibig sabihin, the internal energy, that is delta U, change in energy of the system, is positive 30 joules since the work was done to the system. So, the system gained energy. Okay. Meanwhile, the surroundings lost 300 joules of energy. So, meaning, the surroundings has a negative 300 Joule. Okay, so uh, 300 joules was given to a the system, therefore, uh, 300 joules is deducted from the surroundings. Uh, it's like in comparison, halimbawa, uh, kung sa, sa pera, let's say you work for something and then binayaran ka, so you gain, your account gained, uh, let's say 500, 500 pesos, so your account gained 500 pesos. Now, the person who paid you lost 500 pesos. Hindi naman loss. Okay. So, but, uh, was deducted 500 pesos. So, in comparison lang. So, hindi naman pwedeng basta may pera lang na gano'n-gano'n may pera lang kagad-gad. So, hindi pwede. So, in this case, ganito rin. So, if work is done to the system, so tataas ang internal energy niya, but mawawalan naman yung surroundings. Likewise, if the system would do work, the surroundings will gain heat or will gain energy while the system loses energy. Okay. So, I repeat. Internal energy is symbolized by the capital letter U. Okay, so delta U is a change in energy of the system. It's either positive or negative. Okay, now we have three types. I'll wait, I'll just show you that joules is equal to one pascal per cubic meter. So one joules is equal to one pascal per cubic meter. So, para natin ano yung joules. Okay, so when we compute the values, okay? So now, we have three types of systems. Okay. So first is the open system. Open system. Then we have the closed system. And finally, we have the isolated system. Okay. So, meaning, energy can come in and out of the systems, this open system. So, matter can come in or energy can come in. So, meaning, heat can come in or come out, heat. Matter can come in, let's say, oxygen or carbon dioxide. So, pwede silang pumasok o lumabas sa system, open system siya. Okay. Now, for a closed system, energy could enter a uh, closed system. So, heat, let's say. So, pwede siya. Okay. But not matter. Okay. Now, for isolated system, it is fixed. So you have fixed uh, value okay, for both your energy, uh, for, for heat, okay, for heat and uh, energy. So pareho yung nasa, hindi, hindi, hindi nababago. Pati yung mass niya, 
ganun palagi. It's isolated. Walang pwedeng pumasok doon. Okay? Uh, matter and energy cannot enter. Okay, so I repeat. Pag-open system, matter and energy could enter. Uh, enter and exit. Okay? Uh, dito naman sa close is energy can enter. And well, but matter cannot. Okay? And sa uh, isolated naman is fixed value para sa mass at sa energy. Okay? So these are the systems na tandaan natin. Okay? Now we go to the formula to be used. Okay. Now the change in internal energy is equal to Q plus W. Okay. This is for chemistry. So if ever you see books na iba yung formula, so it, it's in chemistry and in physics. Okay. So in physics, delta U is equal to Q minus W. So this is in physics. Okay. So Bakit gano'n? But may, but may difference yung dalawa sa chemistry at sa physics. Okay. So in chemistry, we're looking at the system's point of view. Okay. Well, dito naman is we're looking for the, uh, the surroundings point of view. Okay. So in this case, sa chemistry, we're looking at the system. System. Okay. Now, when it comes to physics, we're looking or the point of view of the surroundings. Okay. So meaning... Uh, let's, let's give an example para walang, walang, walang problema. Okay? So, in chemistry, in, in, in chemistry, when work, okay, is, work is negative because it is done by the system. It is done by the system. Okay? It is done by the system. Yan. Okay? So, negative siya kasi yung system ang gumawa. Ibig sabihin, pag nagtrabaho yung system, mabawas na siya ng energy. It's like you, uh, ikaw yung system. Now, you played basketball. Okay? So, naglaro ka ng basketball. So, meaning, nabawasan yung energy mo. Okay? But, your surroundings gain energy. Uh, Inip ng katawan pa, nalabas siya. So, the surroundings gain energy. Ikaw is na, na walang ka ng energy. So, pinag-usapan is ikaw. Okay? The system pinag-usapan. So, pagka it is done by the system, so your work is negative. Okay, now your work now is positive. It, it is done on the system. Okay, done on the system. Okay, so I think medyo clear naman to, no? Sa chemistry, ang tinitignan natin is yung system. Okay, now dito naman sa physics, tinitignan natin yung surroundings. Okay, in chemistry, pag yung system ay may ginawa, uh, the system, uh, yeah, person, okay, did something, mawalan siya ng energy. Okay, so it is negative. Okay, yung, yung work done. Okay, that. And then, pag passive naman, pag meron naman ginawa sa system. Okay, so that is positive. Okay, now in physics, dito lang tayo, hopefully you can see it here. Okay, yes, you can see it here. Physics naman is uh, vice versa, okay? So, work naman is positive. Yeah, work is positive. It is done on the system. Oh, sorry, on the system. On the system. Okay, so it, sorry, it is negative, sorry, it's positive. It's negative when it's done on the system, baliktad sila, okay? And it is positive when it's done by the system. Okay. Meaning, pag yung work mo is ginawa sa system, it's done on the system, yung surroundings na nawawalan, kaya negative siya. Now, if it is done by the, like this one, parang baliktaran sila, no, vice versa. If the system does, does the work, Okay, nabawasan siya. Now, this is the surrounding gains. Okay, nabawasan yung system, nagdagdagan naman yung surroundings. Okay, sabi nga, it can only be transferred. Okay? Now, dito naman, if it is done on the system, nagdagdagan yung internal energy. Okay, dito naman ay mabawasan. Okay, so ulit ha. So, the main difference of the two is that in chemistry, we're looking at the system, point of view of the system. Okay, kung uh, siya yung pinag-usapan. So, pag nagtrabaho siya, mabawas siya ng energy. Okay? Pagka naman may binigay, makatagdagan yung energy niya. Okay? Now, dito naman, sa surroundings, is baliktad. So, ibig sabihin, pag sa chem mo, yung system may ginawa, deducted yung power, yung energy ng system, pero, nagdagdagan yung surroundings. Dito, dito. Okay? Done by, done by the system, by, done by the system. Now, pag naman, done on the system, ito naman, done on the system din siya. So, mabawasan yung internal energy ng surroundings, nagdagdagan naman yung system mo. Okay? So, I hope this clear, pakitignan yung sign nila. Okay, now before I end this video, I'll be discussing first this one in chemistry. Okay, 
The next video will be on physics and we'll take problem solving. Okay, I just explained this part. Okay, part of uh, chemist's point of view. Okay, now Q is positive or heat. This is Q is positive. Okay, when heat is absorbed by the system, okay, so it is absorbed. It's called endothermic. Okay, so we're talking about chemistry. It's called endothermic. So when heat is absorbed, it is positive. Okay, it is endothermic. Okay, now when heat is negative, okay, this one is released. When heat is released by the system, okay, it is negative. This is called exo, okay, exothermic. Okay, so I repeat. Uh, positive when it's absorbed, endothermic, and then when it's released, it's negative. It's called exothermic. Okay. Now let's go. Let's go back. Dun sa dun sa kanina. Okay. So work on the system is positive when it's done on the system. Okay. It's positive when it's done on the system. So work is positive when it's done on the system, and work is negative when it's done by the system. Okay, so this is for the first formula in thermodynamics, in the first law of thermodynamics. I, I, like I said, there are two laws. No? There are, there's a single law, but there are two equations that we are using. So one is in chemistry and one is physics. Okay? So in chemistry, we're looking at the system's point of view. In, in chemistry, sorry, we're looking at the system's point of view. In physics, we're looking at the surroundings point of view. So if the system gains energy, the surrounding loses energy. If the surrounding loses energy, the system gains energy. Okay, like, okay then if the surroundings the man, uh, gains energy, the system loses energy. So, now, uh, in chemistry, okay, Q is positive when, it, uh, when you absorb uh, heat, okay, and then it's negative when you release it. It's called endothermic and exothermic process. So, I think I'll be ending this video for now. I'll continue again with another video para hindi siya masyadong sunod-sunod and hindi So try to watch this video first, understand the formulas okay, that I gave. Actually, there's only two formulas. Okay? Now, I'll be solving problems in the next video. But kind of understand this first. Hopefully, you, you got okay, the gist of the topic. Okay, so I think that's all and wait for my second video.